I am in Florida. I'm so excited. Today we're gonna get on the cruise. I just wanted to give you a quick update on traveling. I was up at 2.30 in the morning, got on the plane at five, and uh, we got to Florida about noon. So I just didn't really vlog yesterday. We didn't do much. The weather was kind of overcast. We had lunch and just chilled because we were all extremely tired. It's actually starting to sprinkle, so I'm gonna hurry this up. So I am a fourth of the way into The Stranger. It is so good. Um, it's like, a guy meets a stranger who tells him his wife faked her pregnancy and a lady meets a stranger who tells so that one's right away so i don't feel like a spoiler but the other one is a lady meets a st two strangers that tell her that their daughter is doing something naughty so so excited to see where this goes from what i understand the first episode is about about the same as the beginning of the book so i'm excited to then watch after i'm done so anyway, I will check with you guys later when we get to the beach and get on the boat so you guys can hang out with me. kind of loud but at least it's not super windy today but checking in I finished the stranger and honestly I, I gave it three stars it felt like there's a lot going on and then I actually was more intrigued by I don't know how to say it without running but the people who were doing things in the book and they barely described it I uh, so I I don't know I wish that that was more focused on and like their mission and stuff so I'm super excited to watch the show when I get home and see if that like collects more things for me. And I started the other people today. I didn't justify that it would kind of maybe be paranormal. It sounds like it might be. A girl wakes up, like falls asleep and every time she wakes up holding a pebble and she was no nowhere near rocks and then another girl's in a coma, her sheets are just changed and then all of a sudden there's sand in her sheets. So it, I'm interested. That one is for the Literally Dead Book Club. So. But anyway, it is sunset here. We are leaving Haiti and tomorrow we will be in Jamaica for the day. Back to you guys later. Friday. I got back from vacation yesterday. I was pretty horrible at vlogging. Um, yesterday I could have probably vlogged in the airport because I was there all freaking day. But I just, I don't know, I was tired. And then when I go on, well this is my second cruise, but when I, the last two cruises now, I get sick when I get off. 
so I get like seasick on land. I don't know what the actual term is, but I feel like it's wavy and um, I get nauseous and stuff after. It's so goofy. I'm glad it doesn't happen on the ship. A couple of the girls were seasick like the first day. But, so I don't have any problems on the ship, but after I take a while to readjust. So just not feeling super great. But yeah, we got off the boat, went right to the airport. And so we had like three hours or so before our flight. And then I actually had another flight to get back to Fargo after, and I had a like four hour layover. So I was at the airport from like 10 to 10. So a really, really long day. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to end the vlog and check in with all that I did end up reading. So The Strangers, I gave three stars. I am definitely excited to watch the Netflix and see how that goes. Um, the other people I finished yesterday on the airplane and I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. So that one was for the Literally Dead book club. So definitely enjoyed that one a lot. It was so interesting. It didn't end up as paranormal as I thought. Like, I don't want to spoil things, but I like the way, I love when like characters weave together. So I really liked that. Um, and I definitely kind of left it open maybe for more. I don't know if that's the plan, but it would be kind of cool. And then I started this, The Stranger Beside Me audiobook and I ended up finishing that. I listened to it, um, well, I was just kind of walking around and waiting for my airplane. So that was that was so interesting. Like being that close to Ted Bundy and not really knowing at first if you should believe him or not. And just how I didn't know that he got out of jail all those times, like that he kind of went on the run. Like it was crazy, crazy. And I'm so excited too to watch that, that show. I think it's Zac Efron on Netflix. I hadn't watched it. So now after listening to The Stranger Beside Me, I really want to like know more, but it just blows my mind. I can't even imagine like the people that were actually in his life and like, like he was actively with a woman for like the entire time that he was killing all these other women and they didn't know. Can you, can you imagine just like sleeping next to a murderer and not knowing? So crazy. And then last night I started Truly Devious again. I definitely wanted to re-listen to Truly... Lunch is ready. To listen to Truly Devious and The Vanishing Stare so I can get to the hand on the wall. I really liked it. Um, so I just want to binge all three. So that's where I'm at. I have to uh, go pick up some books at the library today. And I'm just trying to take it easy today and then the weekend before I go back to work on Monday and have to get back into real life. Um, I'm definitely going to miss somebody making my bed and making my dinner and um, having pizza 24 hours a day whenever I wanted it. So yeah, I'd, the cruise was amazing. We had a really good time. We had pretty good weather. The first couple days were a little windy, but other than that, it turned out great. Um, I don't know if you can tell, just mildly sunburned, so we, we could have done much worse. But SBF 50 was my best friend. Anyway, that was my Caribbean vacation. I had a great time and we didn't have any problems on the ship. I, I don't know if you've probably read about that one ship that was, it was in Jamaica the day before us and Jamaica wouldn't let them out because of possible coronavirus. It was the flu, but you can't, be mad at them for you know trying to make sure it's it's safe so when you hear stuff like that I'm glad that we had such a good vacation because it could have been far worse so anyway I will talk to you guys sometime soon